Welcome to Alaska. <laughs> Welcome to Alaska. And you'll hold back the sun if the need should arise. If the mountains too steep, he'll just lower. delicious food and here are Michael and Emily our partners for the next week and we're gonna have a good time yes, Emily is my sure. sister and Michael is a cousin to Joas all right look some of this good food we got here it's pretty delicious huh Mike you bet very good
day two and we're heading up to Talkeetna tonight. We're going to sleep in Talkeetna and we're just taking our time and um, just stopping along the way, along the rivers and creeks and just checking out things and the guys want to do fishing and yeah, we're just, we're just having a blast, just kind of not having a tight schedule, just, um, you know, just checking out Alaska, I guess. It's so green. It's just beautiful and green around here. Just lush right here. We slept in um, Palmer last night. And so, and now we're heading up to Talkeetna. So we're, we're just having a wonderful time. We're going to try and hit a lot of places. We want to go all the way up to Fairbanks. And then toward the very end of our trip, go all the way down to Homer where the guys going to fish for like a half a day. So it's just so much fun going out with our guys and and just having fun in the wilderness or sort of in the wilderness. We're heading up this to this area called Hatcher's Pass. It's absolutely beautiful driving along here. It's like uh, I don't even know how to describe it. Look at the incredible scenery. Mountains beyond compare. This is going to be high pass that we're going to be driving over. I think it's going to be a dirt road. Just so lush and green around here. Just so beautiful. So we're coming up here and we're gonna check this site out. It's called Independence Mine. I'm gonna check out these buildings. Really cool. So Priscilla and I decided to go on this little hike up through here and we're gonna head up to some of these dilapidated buildings. This is an old uh, mine shaft or I don't know where the shaft is actually but it's an old uh, mining area and it's all fallen down and fallen apart. But there's some really cool buildings down here that we're going to go in in just a moment. But we're going to hike up here first. But the view is just beautiful. Just, oh, this is like Switzerland. I mean, look at this. Green and amazing. It's a beautiful day. Beautiful day. the entrance of the mine looks like. It's a beautiful waterfall. What do you think, babe? Oh, this is this is what Alaska is about. Just large, green, beautiful. It's really, really special to be here and so wonderful to be here with Priscilla and friends. Just really, really Amazing. Love it. Wow, wow, wow. So now we are on top of Hatcher's Pass and the colors, they're so green and vibrant and beautiful. What do you think, babe? Refreshing. There's a little guy looking at us. Here we stop to eat beside the trail that we're driving on. How'd you get that cheap cheese, Joel? <laughs> Michael's complaining about my food sourcing. A little cloudy, but oh, so pretty. Okay, I got my first Alaska fish. I don't know what it is. It's a grayling. I think it's, yeah, it's a grayling. Look at that. Wow, babe. My first grayling in my life that I ever caught. It's amazing. Look at that. Wow. 
It's really cool. Aww. First grayling. Wow. Pretty happy about that. It's not huge, but it's like, uh, I don't know, 10, 11 inches probably. Sweet. Love it. So we stopped again to a creek down here and uh, they want to try and fish again. They're really into fishing. <laughs> There's Michael down there. Let's see if we can find Joas. It's just beautiful. I think he's somewhere over here. Yep, there he is. It's really nice uh, to see the guys have so much fun. It's We're having fun because they're having fun. <laughs> no, honestly, it's so beautiful here. I love it too. It's just beautiful. And here is the mountain, Denali. We are driving north towards Talkeetna and we just had to stop beside this beautiful field of flowers and birch trees and take some video. Oh, it's beautiful. So beautiful. This is all fireweed. This even grows in Montana. Look at how beautiful that thing is. Jutting out of there. It's amazing. Wow, looks like maybe even snow blowing off the top of it right there. What a mountain, pretty awesome. Well, we're driving along the highway here, going to Talkeetna, and we're feeling right at home. Montana Creek right here. <laughs> here is the little hobbit house, it's the hobbit cabin. So cute. The Hobbit cabin. Wow. And look at this grass growing up on the roof. That is just pretty cool. <laughs> nice little log cabin. Wow. There's a lake right here. Look, here's another one. You got a tree growing out of this one. That's pretty <laughs> crazy. amazing. So in 2001, I was 21 years old, and I came up to this place right here, and I lived in this little cabin uh, for two weeks. It was January in the middle of the winter, and uh, here we found the place again. It's, it's quite amazing. I helped build a little cabin, a, a house over here actually. It was a house over there, and uh, it was my first time in Alaska, and it was quite an experience. So it's kind of very cool to come back here and see this again, but very nice couple. We had a great time visiting them again. This is the town of Talkeetna. It's very touristy, small and touristy. Look at this one. Got all kinds of antlers out there. Well, we stayed at this cute little mountain chalet. I guess you'd call it like a villa or something. It's called the Stone Hut. And uh, it was pretty interesting. I uh, had a good night's sleep here, and now we're off to Healy, Alaska. Well, we just hit the Denali Park Road where we're going to actually enter the Denali National Park. And we've been driving for like an hour and a half or so, maybe two hours. And uh, it's been raining most of the time. It's finally just cleared up, so we're really happy. The clouds have lifted and we're just seeing really, really beautiful views now, finally. All right, there's the Denali Park and Preserve sign, National Park Service. Here we go. So this is some of the views of the park. Just beautiful, green, and mountainous. Okay, we're here at the end of Denali, as far back as you can go without getting a tour. 
because uh, there, there's tour buses that take you further back, but we didn't book our reservation. But we, Michael just spotted a caribou. So let me see if I can find it behind you. This is, it's really beautiful. It's super vast and open and it's amazing. So we stopped here, we've been glassing, and now we're gonna see if we can find this on the camera. Okay, let's see if we can find this caribou. Michael said it's down there on the creek somewhere, right in the water. Oh, right there it is, look at that. Oh, wow. Huh. No kidding. That's literally the first living caribou in the wild I have ever seen. That's amazing. That thing is a long ways off. Look how far off that thing is. It's incredible. <laughs> the girls are getting antsy. <laughs> Watching caribou and they're doing exercises. Okay, I see how it works. <laughs> yeah. What was that, Michael? They're doing yoga in the park. <laughs> Over there is a mama moose and two babies. We made it to Healy, Alaska, and we're simply just driving around because we're not sure what we're doing here. <laughs> uh, we're driving down to this river down here to just to kind of check it out. There's some friends that we might meet uh, up here through some other mutual friends, and so we're just gonna see them a bit later. So now we're just driving around and checking out some scenery. It's a pretty spot, no doubt. Okay, we're sitting here at a restaurant uh, in Healy, Alaska, and we ordered our, some baby back ribs. They look fairly tasty, I think. Yeah, you should show them around. It looks very neat in here. Yeah, it's kind of a cool place. Yeah. Definitely Alaska. All moose and caribou sheds. That is beautiful. I like to have one of those in my living room. Amazing. Okay, it's really windy here. I hope you can hear us. Just got done with dinner and we're, we just randomly drove to some lake here. It's really, really beautiful, but I guess it's kind of a windy spot. So uh, anyways, we got a motel. We're gonna uh, go and take a nap now. It never gets dark here hardly all night long. It's daylight, so you never know. It's always daylight, so we're just uh, sleeping while it's daylight. So, anyways, we had a good day. We drove through Denali, came up here, and uh, now tomorrow we're gonna go all the way up to Fairbanks and see what's up in Fairbanks. Yeah, we're enjoying ourselves. Yep, <laughs> met some new friends up here, yep. so that was pretty cool. We just had some seriously good baby back ribs that were amazing. <laughs> I think they're from Alaska because they had more meat on them than I've ever seen them. You know, things in Alaska grow big. And uh, so it must have been an Alaskan, an Alaskan hog. <laughs> This morning we're here in Healy, Alaska, and we spent the night here at a motel. And it is so cool when God makes connections. And it's, it's kind of a long story, but through mutual friends, uh, we met Sam and his wife and some other uh, folks up here in Healy. And we just wanted to take just a minute, and I want to show you, I'll let Sam explain what's happening back here. Uh, later today, we're gonna go on up to Fairbanks and visit other friends, but this is such a really cool, uh, place that they're building here, the vision, and I wanted to share uh, with you a little bit about it and let Sam explain what they're doing here real quick. And uh, so why don't you just tell the folks what you guys, what your heart is, what your vision is real quick for what you're doing here. Well, my name is Sam Kimmel. I'm with Last Frontier Ministries. And uh, 
we are uh, have a ministry up here, ministering mostly to the Alaskan natives in the villages. We go up there and we do ministry in the villages once a month. We bring teams up in the summer and go up there. But also, I think it's behind me, we have a pretty big building back here. Right. And what we're doing with this building, we're building like a mission training center. So our goal is to train up young men and women, right. uh, found, get them grounded and founded in the Lord, and then send them out to wherever God right. wants them to be. So there's a lot of uh, in, you call them indigenous Alaskan people, right? In villages all over the north here. Yeah, there's about 220 uh, actually federally recognized Alaska villages. Wow. Most of those villages are not on the road system. Right. So we have to fly to them or boat to them or take an ATV to them. So our goal right. is to get into those villages and spread the gospel message. Right. We distribute diapers and clothing up there. Right. We also distribute food. We just actually just got a huge shipment of food. Okay. We got 24 pallets, like 70,000 wow. pounds of food just donated to us wow. from, from Missouri. Wow. And uh, we'll be taking that and packaging it up and giving that door to door in the villages that were up there for this winter. So right. we give out, you know, our theme, our goal, or our, our our answer is to reach out to those, reaching out to those in need. Right. So whether right. it's spiritual need, an emotional need, a physical need, right. we want to reach out to them and share the love of Christ. There you go. Reaching out. So this building that you see is in a town. How big is your town? Like a thousand people? Right or? now we're just under 1,500 people. I think. Okay. Yeah. So it's like a tiny town. It's got like a gas station and and doesn't even have a post office. I guess it does. We do. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> it's really tiny. Uh, but they built this big building all by faith. They have. Uh, it's just from people like you. Uh, just giving funds to build this in for a training center to, to, to uh, be able to teach people here and then, then take them out in the bush and actually uh, physically show the love of Christ to the the natives uh, wherever or all people really so I just want I'm going to include a link in the description box below if you have it on your heart to give towards this project what they're doing here the food distribution giving the diapers to the uh, babies out there and all the things that they're doing here because there's a lot of expenses. If you have it on your heart, go to the website below and there's been an option there they can give on yeah, the website. On the website, lastfrontierministries.com. Okay. There's a, a Last link Frontier for, a, for a, a, a PayPal link. Okay. And you can also email. You can get links for email on the contact section. Okay. You can email myself or, or, or Rob, my partner, to work okay. with me. And I, Sam didn't ask for this. I just offered. So just so you know, we want to bless them. And one more thing that's really cool for me, as you know, growing up Amish, uh, on this building right behind me, there's a whole team from Lancaster, Pennsylvania, Amish guys that are here right now working on this building. So it's really cool. I, I'm really loving it to be able to, to just hang out with them a little bit. So thanks, Sam, for having us. Thank you for having me. Yeah, blessings on your ministry. All right, we are driving along the highway heading towards... Fairbanks, Alaska, out of Healy, and look what we saw right beside the road. Big old mama moose chowing down on the willows and stuff. They're just huge. That thing is like as big as our bull moose, I think, at home. Oh, yeah. Bigger, I think. That thing's monster. Okay, when you come to Alaska, this is what you don't do. You don't try to attack a moose like this. Don't ever do this. Well, now we're here uh, with some friends in uh, just south of Fairbanks, and we actually met them through uh, our YouTube channel. Yeah, we did. And, which is awesome. And now that we're traveling up here, they invited us, and they're having us for dinner, and look what they are fixing for us. It's truly a feast. Yes, it is. Yep. So there's corn on the cob. There is barbecue chicken, and this is all things that... Julie made for us and salmon that they caught, potatoes, like deviled twice eggs, potatoes. twice baked potatoes. Yeah. And uh, Julie and Gil, do you want to say anything? Glad you can make it up here. We're honored to be here. Okay, here we are driving to where we're going to spend the evening, but it's really beautiful here in Fairbanks. It's got, uh, this is overlooking uh, the south end of town, and you got a river coming through here. Um, but it reminds me a lot of the Blue Ridge Mountains of like Virginia. Um, this is pretty a little flatter out there, but a lot of a lot of hills around here. So it's it's actually really beautiful. I'm amazed. 